Oh my goodness, guys. This build is simply definition of insanity. <laughs> it's tip of the spear pyromaniac plague build. Absolutely ridiculous and I have to admit, this is the most fun I had in a while. <laughs> Fire! Oh yeah baby, barbecue chicken! Welcome to Insanity! Guys, this build is so goddamn special that I don't want to waste your time with a boring intro, so with no further ado, let's get into it. Main thing here, guys, is synergy between Tip of the Spear gear. <laughs> you heard me right, I'm using Tip of the Spear gear. Hold on, hold on, it's really overpowered if you know what you're doing. So, synergy between Tip of the Spear here, firewall specialization and your exotic LMG pestilence which will provide you with plague effect and actually by applying status effect in this case with flamethrower from your firewall specialization you will increase immediately plague effect damage by freaking 40% guys you can't stack plague damage by crit damage or crit chance you need raw weapon damage and tip of the spear by applying status effect will give you for one minute 40% boost if you're using chest piece and that's to me absolutely insane you can run, a, run around like a freak without shield I have never completed this section so goddamn quick I was really really surprised but the amount of fun which I had by using flamethrower is something ridiculous I I felt like true pyromaniac I set on fire everybody and I'm using skills for basically distraction purposes and they will deal pretty nasty damage because I'm using memento memento will give us bonus armor we are gonna run around like a freaks like I said we have armor again and of course skill efficiency so guys before we continue as usual Today I want to recommend to you my partners, a site for boosting services dwing.net. If you want to get an eagle or any other exotic as well as equip a cool build using items from the dark zone, then these guys will help you to get this and much more in a short time. They have updated prices and deadlines for all services. The boost works with account sharing so they do everything for you without cheats or bug abuse. I have tested this service myself so I can recommend you these guys easily. They can be trusted man. And of course with my promo code you will get 15% discount on all services. This site has been working for many years, it has a lot of clients, reviews and payment methods man. If you didn't get my promo code or you have any questions feel free to type your message and operator will reply immediately but now let's get back to my build and guys please keep in mind that this setup is made for pve of course you could do some simple modifications and roll headshot damage everywhere then i would recommend you to use exotic sniper rifle nemesis or mantis but i have never done that setup previously and if i have to be honest <laughs> i have never ever used tip of the spear gear in any of my build videos that's my confession but you know we haven't received new content for a year so it's time to innovate and do something out of the box so here we go baby and in general if you want to be updated to all the best pvp pv builds hey subscribe hit that like bastard so with no further ado let's get into it for specialization we are gonna use firewall Firewall will provide you with really good medkits which will give you armor regen for 10 seconds. Nice grenades, but main reason here is flamethrower. <laughs> and you're gonna set on fire everybody. Guys, unfortunately flamethrower is OP in conflict. You're gonna one tap people there left, right and center. It already received nair, but it's... Hill barbecue chicken man you're gonna cook 
agents really easily and the most disgusting part that you can kill people in the checkpoints with flamethrowers and oh that's ooh, not pretty at all when three people will rush you with flamethrowers anyway firewall specialization is way to go my main weapon is exotic lmg pestilence why pestilence because it will give us like third skill or third arm ak plague effect once you will stack plague effect it will spread like wildfire as well you're gonna kill one enemy and it will jump to another plague is really really strong especially with tip of the spear because by applying status effect in this case with our flamethrower we will immediately receive 40 percent extra damage boost not only for our pestilence but to our plague effect and there is no other ways how you can actually improve plague damage simply you have to optimize your weapon damage or get buffs which will increase your weapon damage that's the way how you can increase your pestilence dps output for my second weapon i'm using tsunami shotgun with perfect pummel talent in my eyes tsunami shotgun is really underrated Please don't sleep on the shotgun, if you can make those streaks alive, you will refill your ammo and you will receive a, again ridiculous damage boost. So for pistol, I am using name and pistol which will provide me with one extra skill tier and in sync. If you're gonna play legendary difficulty or maybe other missions with directives and you're gonna be short with ammo, that pistol will help you a lot and of course one extra skill tier will improve your skill damage as well. For my gear guys. I'm using four piece from tip of the spear and it's hilarious. When I will get uh, that plage effect rolling, I can run around like a freak, get those memento stacks and then the game over. I don't need shield, I don't need anything, even though my skills are not that strong, they will distract my enemies that's the main reason why we are using the skills simply to distract your enemies and you can deal all the rest damage just check out how my plage effect is taking out whole waves and when you feel that it's time for fun take out your flame thrower and tip of the spear gear will provide you with signature weapon damage boost and of course extra weapon damage if you want to use tip of the spear backpack, it will boost your signature weapon damage, but in my eyes there is no actual need for tip of the spear backpack in this setup, but tip of the spear chest piece kind is must have. Of course you could use glass cannon, but then you kind of squishy, there is no reason then for, for using memento backpack, and we have 1.5 million armor here, so once we'll, we will get those memento stacks going, we will stack bonus armor pretty quickly of course intimidate is an option but uh, i did some tests and intimidate didn't work with pestilence at least for me i don't know so you could stack maybe with obliterate but then again you need a lot of crit chance and we have only 40 percent crit chance in this setup it's enough for our dps output but it will not be enough with obliterate you have spark but that will give you only 15 percent so yeah uh, spotter again amplified 15 percent damage but then you have to waste one skill because you can't use linked laser pointer attachment from technician specialization so honestly chess pieces kind of must have because it will immediately give you 20 percent by 4 piece branched bones by chess piece itself will give you extra 20% weapon damage buff when you will apply of course status effect and here we can apply status effect all the time so and of course i'm using memento backpack memento backpack is one of the best exotics in pv first of all with full stacks you will have 3% armor regen that's sustained healing really really handy with full stacks you will increase not only your skill health but skill efficiency and that means skill damage and of course you have three core attributes weapon damage which is really handy with pestilence of course armor core attribute for tankiness and extra skill tier for our skill damage i'm using name at Petro petros gloves for LMG damage and damage to armor attribute, I'm rolling her skill damage and if I have to be honest, you could go two ways with this setup. I'm using a little bit more DPS or red attributes, 
but you could roll everywhere skill damage and you would still deal lots of lots of damage but i simply love headshot damage creatures and yeah this is how i'm rolling thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye